Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by Hudale Photography. My name's Dale and today I'm going to be looking at a free piece of software called Raw Therapy. This particular piece of software is a free piece of software designed for editing raw photographs, although it can edit other standards of photographs. I've talked about Raw Therapy before and I'm going to show you now how to actually download and install the software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Chrome and I'm going to search for Raw Therapy. And you'll see the first thing that will come up is the Raw Therapy blog. And that's exactly where we want to know. So this is their website. Uh, we're going to head to the download section and we're going to download the one at the very top. Now this is for Windows Vista 7, 8 and 10. Um, you'll notice that they say 64-bit on the end. If you're Windows Vista or later, your computer will be 64-bit. If not, you'll be looking for the XP1, which says 32-bit down here. But most people will probably be on 7 or maybe 10 these days. So we'll go ahead and we'll click this. And we literally just click here. And you can see at the bottom of my screen, Raw Therapy is downloading. And it's not a particularly big file. Now what you might notice is that the file is actually in zip format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down Chrome. I'm going to go to my downloads by clicking on File Explorer. And at the side here I'm clicking Downloads. Here we can see it in here. What we want to do is right click it and extract the files. And I've just extracted them here. Now if you don't have WinZip or uh, WinRA installed, Windows should have an inbuilt ability to open zip files um, and you may have to, instead of right clicking as I just did, double click on it to bring it open like this and then you can view inside the file. But since I've got mine here already, the next thing we need to do is simply double click this icon that has appeared in our downloads folder and this will open the install. This will open the installation. Um, we will allow it to make changes to the PC click OK for English or any other language and the installation is really simple we just accept the agreement we click next yep that's fine as well if you would like a shortcut in your start menu feel free to add this or or just leave it um, and finally I'll create a desktop icon for myself yes I'd like that and then just install so raw therapy is a really great bit of software because considering it's free um, it's actually really advanced. Here we are. So straight away, it's going to allow us to launch Raw Therapy. Um, as I was saying, it's it's fantastic because it's a really advanced piece of software that allows you to go really in depth into your editing, and it's absolutely free. It's fantastic, and um, I would say it's um, almost just about as good as something like Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, it's a bit different to Photoshop, but it's on on a par with Lightroom, I believe. So this is just telling us about the latest update. We don't need to worry about this. Um, we can close this down. Now, as you can see, it's picked up on some photos in my computer already. But before we go any further than that, I know I've already done this, but I just want to go again around the user interface of Raw Therapy. So to the left here, we can see our file explorer. And this allows us to go into various different folders. And it shows us what's in the folders in this part of the window here. Now. You can see up here we clicked on File Browser. It also has the queue and the editor. We'll come into these in a minute. For the moment, I'm just going to pop all this down. Now you can see I've got quite a lot of hard drives and different things. You'll probably only have one or two. Um, usually your hard drive will be called C. Um, and then you can go into that and you can go into Program Files and you can find your way around that way. Uh, another way is you can look up here and quite often it will have documents and pictures already there. So in this top left corner here, you can just see if I click on pictures, there we are, it's already found my pictures folder. Now I've already copied some pictures into this folder and you can see I have two different file formats here. I will just quickly explain about these. These are all raw file formats, but in particular these NEF ones are Nikon raw files and these ones you see here which are labeled DNG these are known as digital negatives and they are what Lightroom creates and it's the same as a raw file but it's, it's more universal whereas NEF is very particular to Nikon um, and ARW is particular to Sony and so on and so forth so when we've got these pictures in front of us what we can do now is we can simply double click on one and it will load it up into the editor and you can see over here that we've gone straight into the editor and here's our photograph. Um, and just just to show you how to get about as well, 
Um, again, we can just click back and forth between the file browser, the editor, and also the queue, which we'll come to in a minute. But let's go back to the editor for a minute. At the top of the editor, we have all the photos in the file, so we can quickly switch between them. I'm going to stick with this one for the minute. I'm going to do a couple of basic edits, and I'm going to bring up the exposure to bring out our flowers. I'm then going to add, turn on my graduated filter and I'm going to make the strength of that a bit stronger and you can see it's already kind of in the right place so I'll probably leave it there. Um, you can see where it's affecting the sky and not the bottom and that's it's done a pretty good job actually. Um, if I was being picky I'd change the angle perhaps so it just uh, fits more along with the line of the mountains. Uh, I don't want to be too much because that's not the point of this video. There we are. Um, and yeah, so we have a graduated filter, we have all our exposure options in here, we can add a tone curve if we like, we can add a bit of contrast and a bit of saturation, as I said, raw files often need that, it's probably a bit too much saturation actually, I have a feeling I've probably already edited this photo a little bit more in the past anyway, so I won't go too far into it, um, so yeah, we've done our edits, um, before I go on I'll just say, you know, you have the sharpening tab here, Raw therapy can look a little bit involved and there's a lot of settings you really don't need to know here when you're first just getting started. But if you do want to have a look, absolutely remember to turn them on and just mess around with things until you get something you like. Try, try it out and then if you don't like it, just turn it off again. Um, they have these fancy little on-off settings uh, on every area. It's really great. Um, white balance, this is all just colour in this area. So white balance is quite key to when you're working um, under tungsten lights or you know if you just want to do a little bit of color editing um, uh, this is getting a bit more advanced now using waves this is really not something we need to worry about uh, this is where we can crop things and resize again not something we need to worry about quite now and then we're getting really really advanced with these last two don't worry about these just now so we have our unedited photo we've seen how to bring photos into raw therapy in our file browser we just find them on our computer just like we would normally just clicking pictures and there they are. Pictures is a really great place just to store your photos when you copy them straight off your card, just shove them in pictures. Most editing software will pick up on that immediately and you mean it and it means that you won't have to go searching around your computer for them. So how do we output this photo and turn it into something usable? Well, in raw therapy, it's simply a matter of right clicking the icon and clicking put in queue. We can already see the Q icon over here has changed to say one, meaning we've got one picture in it. If I wanted to do more than that, I can also right click this one and say put to Q as well. And now there's two pictures. So I'll keep with these two pictures for the minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose our settings. Now I'm going to change it to a JPEG now that we've edited it. And this will allow us to move it onto other devices, print it easier, send it to printers, and upload it to Facebook a lot easier as well. JPEG quality. Um, this is simply referring to the quality of the picture. Now, most pictures, once you change them to JPEG, are going to be about 5 megabytes, maybe a bit more. Lowering the quality will lower the size of that image. Some websites may ask you for lower size photographs, and this is the way you can create them. I usually go for around 92, um, sometimes even as low as 60. Especially if I'm uploading to Facebook, I will usually choose around the 70 mark or 75 mark as Facebook tends to downgrade photos anyway, it tends to lower their quality um, and by just doing that for Facebook you tend to get a better effect. If you're going to print, absolutely push it all the way up to 100. For now, I'm just going to leave it where it is. Subsampling is not something we really need to worry about right now, so we'll leave that as it is. What we do need to worry about, however, is where it's going to go. So as you can see, it's set to desktop right now. Um, and this is a fine place to export your photos to, however, by clicking and holding on that, we can go down to other down here in the menu that comes up and then we can let go of the mouse we can then navigate to somewhere we'd like to go and so I will click on my name Dale here and I'll see all my folders in my name and you can see pictures is down here uh, under mine I have a lot of different folders and files yours might not have so many but you will have a pictures folder so I'll open that and then this is where I'm going to save my final pictures to so I'm going to click open and all I have to do now is just click start processing. And processing can take a while sometimes, but you'll see the pictures will just disappear as and when they're done. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to minimize raw therapy. 
and I'm going to go to my pictures folder by clicking on my file explorer and clicking pictures and there we have our JPEG files that we've just exported ready to use. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope that explained how to install in the basics of using raw therapy. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.